Google Fi has streamlined the eSIM transfer process, making it easier than ever to move your service to a new device. Understanding the essentials will help ensure a smooth transition. First, let's understand what an eSIM is. Unlike a traditional physical SIM card that you can remove, an eSIM is a digital SIM card embedded directly in your device. The Google Fi app is your primary tool for managing eSIM transfers. It works on both iOS and Android devices and handles the entire transfer process. Before starting the transfer, you must ensure your new device is compatible with Google Fi and eSIM technology. Check the Google Fi Wireless website for device compatibility. The transfer process is tied to your Google account. Make sure you're signed into the correct Google account on both your old and new devices before starting the transfer. Google Fi offers several advanced features, including data-only eSIMs for tablets and other devices, plus 5G roaming in select countries for faster international connectivity. Here's a critical tip. Do not cancel your current phone service until the Google Fi transfer is completely finished. This ensures you maintain connectivity throughout the entire process. If you need help during the process, Google Fi provides comprehensive support through their app and website, including phone, chat, and email options. Before transferring your Google Fi eSIM, ensure your new device has the latest operating system update. This prevents compatibility issues during the transfer process. For Android devices, the process is straightforward. Download the Google Fi app, sign in with your Google account, and follow the in-app instructions to transfer your eSIM. For iOS devices, the process is more complex. Visit f.google.com slash quick setup on a desktop computer, scan the QR code from your iPhone settings, then delete and reinstall the Google Fi app. After reinstalling the app, open it, select your Google account, tap Setup using eSIM, and follow the activation instructions. You may need to delete the eSIM from your old device. On iPhone, go to Settings, Cellular, select your plan, and remove it. On Android, go to Settings, Network and Internet, SIM card settings, and remove the eSIM. After activating the eSIM on your new device, restart it to complete the setup. For iPhones, you may need to update network settings under Cellular Data Network. Number transfers typically complete within 20 minutes though landlines may take up to two business days. If transferring while abroad, you may need a VPN. Always maintain a backup authentication method for your Google account during the process.